Welcome back to the fourth tutorial of MS project and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the duration of the MS project and all the activities duration ke hum kaise duration assign karte hain activities ko so the basic answer is that the amount of time spent on every activity depends upon the scope of the project and the uh, size of the activity ke ji how much uh, work has to be completed on site so if you have a smaller area of course lesser time will be spent if you have a bigger area then more time is going to be spent so how do uh, one can get an idea about the time of a certain activity that how much hours are going to be spent let's say if on the clearing and grubbing of a site and of course i have told you that it depends on the amount of trees amount of garbage and all the things which need to be cleared uh, the site has to be cleared from them but again if you want to understand and get an a preliminary idea that basic understanding or you can say some estimated time so there is a book which i told you in the previous tutorial estimators general construction man hour manual the link i also gave in the previous tutorial i can also give in this tutorial so i'm going to first tell you that if you guys are having no experience then how to estimate the duration of a certain activity but if you guys have experience those who do know that how much time this activity is going to take they can just enter the duration here in this cell in front of every activity for example clearing and grubbing i say that it is going to be completed in 0.5 day half of the day and now layout i say it is going to be completed in 0.25 days now 0.5 days means 4 hours because the standard working uh, hours per day we have defined in this project are 8 hours so 5.5 days means 4 working hours excavation let's say i give it two days compaction one day i'm just going to give the uh, amount of uh, duration by my own self i am not estimating them properly so field density tests 0 0.25 days termite proofing 0.3 days lean concreting let's say one day curing of lean it takes time curing of lean anyways let's give seven days shuttering of foundation one day steel reinforcement let's say two days concreting of foundations two days curing of foundations seven days shuttering of columns one day a mess of going to just enter the duration by my without estimating them so as soon as i have entered the durations you can see the amount of uh, length of this Gantt chart a certain activity has increased according to the days assigned to them. So if it is 0.25 it will give you very less width and if it is having 7 days and it is going to give you 7. So now let's say that we want to see if you guys face this situation that this Saturday is converted into a holiday by itself you can just go to back and define the calendar i think i forgot to save it so i want to adjust the times and you can choose friday here from 11 30 am again 11 30 a.m to 12 p.m so continue to step three step four step five save and finish now you can see that saturday is converted into a working day and it is just eliminating sunday from the uh, calculation of the duration so i was telling that seven days it is going to show you the length of the Gantt chart so by just seeing at the Gantt chart one can get an idea that which activity is going to take how much time so one thing more that we organized the tasks tasks into different phases and the purpose was that the activities total duration can be seen you see this black line or the black heading which is covering from this part to this part is that it is actually covering all these activities and the duration underneath them is 
added automatically 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 all these up to 7 days makes 24.3 days and if you just take your mouse here and you can see from the Gantt chart as well that this much is it is a substructure and it is going to be started from this point and, and going to end at this point so it is telling you this summary task substructure starting duration and finishing similarly in the superstructure as well if you want to see you can just have an idea how much time the superstructure is going to take just take your mouse here and wait a couple of seconds you will be seeing the summary here okay now i'm going to tell you how to estimate the durations so the book which i have is estimators general construction man hour the author is jonas page you have to first read the index which activity you want all the chapters are there for example if you have an already existing structure demolition you have to do then you have to see the time of uh, the amount of time spent on the certain activity of demolishing the structure anyway site grading and structural excavation if we go for the removing trees cleaning and grubbing activity can there we go for the removing trees or removing tree shrubs clearing trees and brush let's say page number 13 so let's go to page number 13 for clearing and grabbing removing trees so all the the all the persons who are not familiar with this book you have to read these initial pages first they have written some things about the estimation and uh, how they have done they have taken the average rates and all the things you have to first go through that so then you have to come to the certain activity which was on page number 13 and let's go to page number 13 now so here it is site gra uh, grading and structural excavation removing trees average tree diameter in inches of course the amount of time spent in deleting uh, in uh, you can say cutting a tree depends on the diameter of the tree the bigger the diameter jitna bada darakht hoga utna zyada time lagega the more time it is going to take and also the method of removing the trees is also important it is given here cross cut saws this is a method to cut chain saws which is automatic you can you might have you can just google them by writing their names and click on images so the diameter is written here 4 6 8 in inches it is also dependent on the type of wood if it is hardwood it is going to take more time if it is softwood it is going to take less time also which type of area is it khula ilaka ya congested area it is congested and open area what difference it is going to make on a congested and open area for example you want to cut a tree and the tree may fall <laughs> the tree may fall on any other someone's house if it is a congested area if it is an open area you can see it is taking less time if it is congested area it is taking more time now what are these times these are net man hours each now it means that if you have to cut a six inch diameter of a tree by using the method of cross cut saws and the uh, type of wood is hardwood and it is in congested area then the amount of time spent will be 3.53 hours however the time has in uh, the time also includes the time of disposal and other things so for that you have to uh, go through these uh, initial text of the ten, uh, chapter because six inches is you can say very less and you can cut that in a very lesser time as given here maybe the time of disposal and uh, removal is also added here so, so for that purpose you have to go through the book so in this way you can estimate the um, number of man hours which are going to be spent and for that you can calculate the total duration Let's talk about concrete one more example in the footings. Okay. Page number 108. Now I'm just going to go to the page number 108. 7 and 108 footings. It is written man hours per cubic yard. If you have some other units, if you are not following cubic yard, so you have to convert the man hours accordingly. Now continuous wall type footings again the type of footing will be uh, telling you and the type of uh, method used to concrete is also you can say uh, going to depend or going to affect the 
duration so crane and bucket is one method shoots and buggies and conveyor and buggy these are different methods you can just google them ke kon kon se method hote hain by which method is more uh, good and which method you are following at your site it depends on you so it is also going to tell you one good feature about this book or the big advantage is that it is going to tell you how much is are the amount of persons which are required for a certain activity for example laborer carpenter operating engineer oiler and the total amount of man hours spent so the laborers in initial or individual uh, hours are also given carpenters individual type uh, hours are given so th- that is a very good thing f- about this book that one can have the idea of how much persons are going to be uh, uh, involved in the certain activity and how much is the amount of time spent so the amount of concreting it is written in per cubic yard so if you have uh, concreting in per cubic feet or per cubic meter you can accordingly convert and multiply with the number of hours so you can calculate the man hours easily so this is the book which is very beneficial for all of you guys and uh, just going to return back to the tutorial now so guys the uh, response up till now is good and i would like to ask from you guys to share the video at least one time because um, there are such certain restrictions that i cannot share more than a certain amount on facebook so it is requested that if you want this tutorials to be continued in future uh, you need to just share it once with your friends and so that the uh, maximum amount of sharings can be done and maximum number of people can be benefited isko aap ek ek dafa kam se kam share lazmi kar de theek hai thank you